managed to get to this day of being retired. So Greg's been at it now for 38 years just here. Came from some little, I don't know, university in Oklahoma. Went someplace <laughs> else and then he came here. For 38 years, his wife, his family has been here. And we're gonna miss him a lot. Yes. I'm from, <laughs> so I'm from engineering. I need I need a prop to help me. Hang on, just a minute. So, from engineering, or the cop out is a leather jacket from Falcon Jet. So, knowing Greg the way he is, he ain't gonna wear it because it's heavy. <laughs> I was a little stum stymied as to what to do because Mrs. Kern was not a lot of help contributing. <laughs> <laughs> so we were sort of left to our own devices. And I wanted to do, we wanted to do something different than what everybody else did. So here we go. There's a story that goes with this. <laughs> if I can get it to work the right way. If it's that complicated, I'm not sure. It I is complicated. <laughs> so when Greg came, 38 years ago, he came to the Coast Guard program. Oh, wow. So, I've never seen one. Right, HU 25, so here you go. If any of you know Greg very well, you know he's quite passionate. And you know Falcons are engineered how? With passion. There you go. Way to go. So, <laughs> just so he doesn't forget his name, we had it put on here. Below it, it says passionate engineer. <laughs> so that it actually has well part, two part meaning. Part of it is Falcon Jet. Part of it is his wife and family. Yes, yes, yes. And then also, we may we have endeavored to try and cover a very small portion of what Greg has worked on while he's been here. So, boom, we have the program list and another patch. And geez, I sure hope this thing fits. <laughs> because we took a bunch of uh, a survey to find out what the size was. Again, she was she was a help and said, check his current jacket. A little difficult because he never wears it. So when we check it, we all determined, well, that's too big, I'm big. So we went down a size. So let's find out if it fits. And if it doesn't, we'll have to wear something. No, 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 I can tell you. Wow. Hey. So the effort was a one of a kind, like Mr. Kern. Man. Oh. There you go. <laughs> well, congratulations on the third day. Good morning. Do I get to say something? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were three. No, I, okay. It's not a long story. It's, a, it's just a thank you. There are no short stories, Greg. Yeah. Yeah. It's not an email. Hey, <laughs> Greg, I got a script. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can tell my stories better than I can, and I know most of his answers. So. They, all, they all know number 14. Yeah, right. Everybody laughs at 14, right? His <laughs> stories are all numbered. Yeah, everybody already heard them. So well. yeah. But, uh, well, I would give Ivan the chance to talk, but he said, no, no. We, we both cry, so that, that, that wouldn't help. That's Come right. on, let him talk. I want to see him cry. <laughs> no crying. Well, my, uh, my opportunity to talk, I, I, I will keep it short because I just want to say thank you and thank you for friendships. Thank you for the opportunity to tell stories. It's, people act like they like them. And, uh, really, I, I try to tell stories to motivate, to inspire, to give an example of something. Usually, mm -hmm. when Joey and Nate would come, I would. I try to take some other story and make it make, uh, pertain to Siege. You know, everything was about Siege there for a while, so we, uh, we told lots of Siege stories. And anyway, my, my reason for being here, my reason for working, uh, Debbie and I have enjoyed being partners in this for, for a long time. And, uh, so, yeah, you've already yeah. been <laughs> here. Yeah, 
she was always a, a good support and a, a sounding board and, and a good partner to be motivated. And Kim represents the rest of my family. Uh, Kim's a baby daughter and her husband Steve are here and I, I, I give them thanks to for keeping me on track. And, and our grandson. And the grandson, Russell. He's a, he's a special representative here today. And then for all of you being interested and wanting to come to say bye, it's uh, motivating to me to try to do the best I can in my future. Now we start the rest of what Debbie and I will do. Yeah, so. so well, what I'm going to do you when he gets out of line, I'm calling Cheryl. Sh okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was my other thank you was for Cheryl and, uh, and for Jamie to spend time putting together the book. It's so special because it's got lots of cool memories and stuff in it. Y'all, if you have time, don't flip through it, read it, and see what kind of stuff they put together. Some of it I gave to him and said, please, I don't want to forget this, so put it in the book. And, and I really do appreciate the work that you did and, and just helping to plan all this because it, it's not just me because there's been Carl and Dave and, and then Lloyd coming up and all that. So we're uh, we're glad to leave him in good hands. So thank you. For your, you did a good job. I also want to thank Cheryl, What's up, Jamie, Jamie? all the ladies that have helped okay. through this whole thing because it's been a lot. If you have a chance to see the memory book, you'll get an idea of it because there's tons of pictures. And I, I was able to tell the story this morning that the boys didn't know about my old job and maybe I got them interested in looking up airplane pictures on the internet. I don't know. They can look at something else. You know, but they don't have internet access. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm going to drink a lot of coffee. Sorry, it's just it felt pretty uh, dense, you know. <laughs> and uh, if y'all really get hungry, you can come back to the house and drop by. Except for Jerry. Yeah, this is great. Fantastic. Okay, that's fine. This one. What do Banyan do? This is all. He's doing it. That's okay. I get it. It's a, it's a, oh, it's actually, it operates as a, as a shadow with a light. Well, it's a uh, outline of the postcard, H-25A, and uh, 3D printed. Like that. Uh, it's it's crowded. It was crowded. And of course. Wow. It'll be my night. <laughs> well, you know, we had, clear, we had clear instructions. Nothing to hang off the wall. <laughs> Well, that's right. I don't like to drive nails in. So we just painted them. So we know. This is called a three M strip. That is that is cool. Thanks, Don. I appreciate the inspiration. That's a that's a cool memento. Oh yeah. Oh, I wondered what all that was going on. Well, in case y'all didn't recognize somebody, uh, Linda Falzone is here, and it's kind of a cool thing for me. Lynn and I have worked on window shades for a long time, and she represents ATG, so she came a long way to come see us today. So I'm, you should probably hear to see somebody else just happen to be right <laughs> <laughs> That's Ben Kennedy. We've had some good, Just for you, Greg. Good, good, uh, good stories, good working relationship, and they, they make a good product. I hope we can do this in the future. Anyway, none of that. The sales pitch is over. Point is, she's uh, she's a good, trusted partner in the business, and I'm glad we got to see you again. Pretty special thing. Well, for all of you, keep working. Keep the place uh, uh, doors open. And, uh, that's the plan. Do your best. That's the uh, best advice I've got. I don't have any long inspirational speech. I, I planned one, but I thought I'd better not tell you. I've I say, it's a, we're all in the French company, I just right? tell the story you told me at lunch yesterday. Yeah. What are you going to do the first day? He's got his 100 days planned. <laughs> 100 days. You all have heard, I've probably told everybody one series of those events. I'm keeping that with you. Anyway, the point is, um, I've told people that I was going to volunteer, try to build 
maybe Habitat for Humanity and do wheelchair ramps, things like that with my spare time and kind of pay back the community if I could. It's something I like to do with you know, work with my hands. And I already have an appointment for tomorrow to do a wheelchair ramp. So I thought it was on the McDonald's sack. <laughs> I had a bad reputation for a while of drawing on whatever I could find. But when I was done, we'd cut it out and go release it. You know, I've got a whole power of those. Take a picture of it, put it in the ball. Yeah, well, they make a sign. But anyway, I, you know, I, I've had my identity with this place for 30 years. People ask me, what do you do? I never said I was an engineer. I said I worked at Falcon Jet. I was all really proud of that. So. French company, you know, the French history, etc. Let them eat cake. Uh oh. Oh, he woke up. <laughs> 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 